32 Santa Fe, one female shot in the chest. New Mexico prosecutors have charged Alec Baldwin with two counts of involuntary manslaughter. I was the one holding the gun, yeah. Okay. Baldwin fatally shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins accidentally while rehearsing a scene on the set of the movie Rust in 2021, an incident the district attorney in Santa Fe believes is criminal. Everybody stops what they're doing right now. This is a crime scene. He pointed the gun at someone else and she says he pulled the trigger. And with those actions, he failed to do what he was supposed to do, according to the DA. Baldwin's lawyer said that the actor had no reason to think there was a live bullet in the gun or anywhere on the film set. Here's a breakdown of the charges and what they mean for Baldwin. We've done this for two weeks and we did it the right way every day. Video released by the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office showed Baldwin preparing for a scene with a revolver in October of 2021. According to affidavits from the Sheriff's Office, both the film's first assistant director, David Halls, and the armorer overseeing weapons, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, handled the gun before it was given to Baldwin for the rehearsal. Just relax. I'm so scared. I'm sorry. You're all right. Just relax. <laughs> Halls gave Baldwin the gun and yelled, cold gun, indicating the firearm didn't have live rounds. An affidavit from the sheriff's office said Baldwin took the gun and fired it. The biggest remaining mystery in this shooting is how did that live ammunition end up on the set? Santa Fe Area District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwees said an investigation into the incident hasn't revealed how the live rounds got there and that the question likely won't be answered. So the district attorney has said the question of how the live ammo ended up on set actually doesn't matter to her case. Are these the rounds here? Regardless of what the armor did, regardless of what the prop handlers did, regardless of whether, you know, what the movie said itself, what culpability it had, the argument then would be, look, Mr. Baldwin has an independent culpability. Um, either of those should, I During an interview with investigators, Baldwin said he didn't know there was a live round in the gun. I take the gun out. And as I take, like, as it clears, as the barrel clears, I'll turn and cock the gun over here. I turn and cock the gun, the gun goes off. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a cold gun. Baldwin's lawyer said he relied on the professionals with whom he worked, who assured him the gun did not have live rounds. Just because it's an accident doesn't mean that it's not criminal. Prosecutors have charged Baldwin with two different counts of involuntary manslaughter. The district attorney said in a statement posted on January 19th that for the first charge to be proved, there must be underlying negligence. We use the term often culpable negligence when we're talking about criminal negligence, which means that an ordinary prudent adult of average intelligence could have foreseen the end result. The district attorney said the second charge requires proof that there was more than simple negligence involved in a death and that the charge includes a firearm enhancement or added mandatory penalty because a firearm was involved. A defendant cannot be found guilty of both. And of course, the defendant can be found not guilty of either. And it's the district attorney who has to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. I suspect the reason why there are two charges is it makes it more likely that they can meet their burden of proof in their own mind, that they can meet their burden of proof in one of the two. According to the district attorney, the first charge is punishable by up to 18 months in jail and a $5,000 fine, while the firearm enhancement makes the crime punishable by a mandatory five years in jail. I'm so, are they okay? Armour Gutierrez-Reed was also charged with involuntary manslaughter in the incident. Her lawyer said that the court filing showed that the district attorney misunderstood the facts and reached the wrong conclusions. First Assistant Director Halls has agreed to plead no contest to the petty misdemeanor charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon, according to his attorney. Every person that handles a gun has a duty to make sure that if they are going to handle that gun, point it at someone and pull the trigger, that it is not going to fire a projectile and kill someone. Baldwin has repeatedly denied pulling the gun's trigger, but has acknowledged pulling back the gun's hammer and letting it go. So you never pull the trigger? No, no, no. I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. The trigger had to have been pulled in order for that gun to go off. The trigger was pulled. The district attorney said she is basing her assessment on an FBI analysis of the gun that concluded it could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger. She says this is a key piece of evidence to her case uh, to support the charge of involuntary manslaughter. That's what the prosecutor will be arguing, that you wouldn't depress the trigger 
unless you were absolutely sure that the gun was unloaded or unsafe. And so if the trigger required a finger pull, you know, some force on it, that should have been one of those fail safe steps that was met, but was not met. Can you guys step right over here? Now that charges have been filed, prosecutors will present their case before a judge who will rule whether there is probable cause to move forward. As we know from the attorneys that are involved, they've already made statements that they'll vigorously fight the case 